Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Funko Pop of Luna Lovegood wearing the lion hat from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I'm really impressed that figure can stand, considering how small the feet are and how big that head is. But just for funsies, I'm going to put the figure on the figure stand just to see if it works. And uh, I'm finding that the, uh, the peg... Man, the, yeah, the pegs are a little tight, but there you go. Wow, this Luna Pop just looks great. There's so much really strong work going on here. Let's start off with just the basics of like her shoes and her, and her socks and her pants. Just look at the black line going around the blue there. The, uh, the separation of just like the, the bottom of her shoe versus the purple of the rest of it and the, and the laces. You get to the blue and the black lines and the purple of the pants. It all looks really, really good. Um, then you get to her sweater underneath. You get the little uh, little purple dotting that goes along that pattern. Really strong work. Even the edge of the sweater looks good. Her ring looks good. Uh, paint separation between the sleeves and the hands is really clean. So yeah, good work to the body, but where this thing obviously becomes interesting is her giant lion hat. Uh, just look at all the edges of the mane going around here and the different colors. The gold, the orange, the tan, the yellow. Uh, really strong work. This is a lot of good sculpting, and then you can see it kind of meets uh, a base in the back, which has more of the same going on, just laying down instead of laying out. And then on top of that, you still get her hair hanging out underneath. So much good stuff going on here. Uh, and then you get to her face. Eyeballs look good. Lashes look good. A little pink on the cheeks looks good. The white teeth uh, bleed onto the skin quite a bit. I saw a bunch in stores that had that. Be on the lookout for that. But the lion face here, really, really cool looking. I like the sculpt of the nose. They, they sculpted uh, a Funkoized the version that she wears in the movie really well. Uh, the gray around the yellow eyes is pretty good. The dotting looks good. Be on the lookout uh, for this little black kind of brownish line going around the edge where her face is. I saw some where the, the brown and gold paint bled onto it or, it, or the face paint bled onto it. Either way, be on the lookout for that. Also some gaps where the, uh, the head meets the headdress area. Although, in truth, a little gap wouldn't be unrealistic. So I can kind of deal with that. But if you, again, if you care, be on the lookout for that. The headpiece looks really, really good, though. The nose looks good. I like the sculpt of the ears. I think this might be like the best one in this fourth wave of Harry Potter pops as far as the sheer amount of work, quality of sculpt of what's going into this. And also, it seems like Luna is getting all the best pops. This is the third one we've had of her, and she just gets like the coolest variant outfits and stuff. So yeah, I think this turned out great. Thanks for watching, everybody. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. If you want, don't, whatever. Eh.